Hey GLRFM, this is Nicole of the Good Life Refuge with your weekly update. I'm the executive director and founder. This week we had the ferrier out. Um, she was taking care of all of our goats and sheep. As I mentioned before, this is a regular um, maintenance care that happens every eight to 12 weeks. Some of our kids um, go in every six weeks because their hooves just grow very quickly and it really helps maintain their hoof health um, and keeping their feet nice and just functional without pain. Um, we also had to get Louis back to the vet um, and boots. So Louis is our big Cornish boy who has bumblefoot right now and it's in a really um, weird spot where we can't really clean it out. So we did a limp perfusion with antibiotic, which is kind of like you're gonna shut off circulation on the limb um, so that the antibiotic goes straight into the foot. So hopefully this will help him with his bumble foot. We will have some um, other visits following up on that with him. And then we did get boots back in because he started straining again. Um, we're not 100% sure what's causing it. One idea is there is a bacterial infection because his intestines um, and gizzard were slightly thickened on x-rays. Um, so we started antibiotic treatment with him again. The other um, possibility, which is not great, is that there is something restricting his GI system um, potentially a mass that's also pushing the gizzard, which is kind of the stomach in a bird, downwards um, because it's not quite in the right location. So we're just gonna see how treatment works. There's unfortunately, you know, if it's not the bacterial infection, there's not a ton we can do because surgical intervention for birds usually does not go super well. So we're just hoping that that will clear it out and we'll just uh, keep a really um, close eye on him and then we also had um, two tours here which was super fun um, to have people out and interact with our kiddos here and learning about their stories so you're always invited we offer two tours usually on the weekend at 11 and 1 p.m. on Saturdays and lastly we're in the last few weeks before the gala so if you haven't gotten your ticket yet for the barnyard soiree please go ahead and book April 19th will be the cutoff date because we have to give our caterer the numbers. Um, so get your tickets and, um, or if you're still interested sponsors, we can still do that. With that, um, have a wonderful weekend and I hope to see you all at the Barnyard Soiree.